Hey everybody, Bill Sky, the assembly guy, back again. And what we're going to look at today is this strange thing called Little Endian Order. Now, the reason that this all happens, the reason there is such a thing as Little Endian Order, is so the architecture of the CPU can be made more simpler, which means you can have many more components because they're more simple components. And there's probably many other reasons why there's a thing called Little Endian Order, but we're going to explain what it is. So let's take a look. Now what you see here is I've got my Windows 11 with Visual Studio 2022 up and running. I created a 64-bit assembly language program. So let's create some variables and then let's take a look at them in memory so we can see how they're actually stored in memory. So I'm going to create a byte variable, which I've done many times. And I'm going to call this one 11H. One, one, I'm going to create a word variable. Define word 2222H. Two, 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 D word variable. Define double. And we're going to do 33333333H. Three, 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 and I'm going to do a Q word variable. And this one's going to be a long one. 4444. Four, four, four. Oh, actually, we're going to have to change these values to really show you what little endian is. So four 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 four. I believe that's the right. Okay, so let's go ahead and change these to. We'll change each byte, and you'll see why we're going to do this. And do we have too many there? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, too many. And then let's change this to. Nine nine zero zero one one two two. There we go. Now the reason we're do, we're doing this is because little endian order means that anything larger than a byte is actually stored in reverse in memory. Now not at the nibble level, not at the four bit level, but at the byte level. So, in other words, the byte variable that you see here that'll be stored as eleven. The word variable, it'll you know, it's the value's 2233, three, but it'll actually be stored as 3322. Two, two. The double word variable, which is 4456677, six, seven, seven, it's not going to be stored in that order. It's going to be stored in 7766554. Seven, six, six, five, five, four, four. So let's actually see that in action. So I'll go ahead and save all and then build this. And then let's take a look at it in memory. Now, this code is identical on Linux, so if you want to do this on Linux, uh, that's great, but the code is so simple, it's, it's exactly the same on Linux. So let's go ahead and debug this. We have a breakpoint on line 12, our first no-op. All right, there we go. So I'm going to go over to my memory tab, and remember to get to that, if you don't have that tab, go up to debug. Windows and you can go down to memory and pick one of four different memory tabs. I have, I've really only used one in the past. Okay, so here we go. So let's go ahead and let's put in here an ampersand and byte variable. And we can see byte variable is one one. Well now that wouldn't be stored as neg as reversed anyway because it's just one byte. Every byte is stored in order. It, it, they're all stored in the way that we think they would be stored, by byte. However, when we allocate something larger than a byte, the bytes are reversed. So let's take a look at word variable. All right, so word variable starts at this address. That's what we're looking at over here, which starts at this address. And notice how it's stored as 3322, even though down here where we actually allocated the variable, it's 2233. That's little endian order. When you see some, when you look at the data at the byte level, it's actually reversed. It's actually, I can't, can't think of a better word than reversed. Now I'm going to right click on my display here and I'm going to say two byte integer. And you can see when we look at a two byte integer display on the debugger, it shows the way that we actually allocate it. That doesn't mean it's stored in memory that way. That just simply means that the debugger is decoding it. It's unreversing it for us. So we that that's the debugger's function. But if you look at it from a at a byte 
perspective, it's always reversed. Now let's go ahead and put in our D word variable. And you can see 77665544. So our double word variable is reversed as well. If I right click on that and I say four byte integer, it looks right, 44556677. So that's how you can look at it the way that it's in memory, which is looking at it at the byte level, and then you can look at it in the decoded way, which is to look at it in the actual size. And let's look at the last one. And I'm gonna right click and say eight byte, looks good, right? Nine, nine, zero, zero, one, one. Looks exactly like the way we allocated it here. But if we look at it at the byte level, it's backwards, six, six, five, five, four, four. Okay, now let's try something else. Now, some of you may say, well, wait a minute. How do we know if one, one is reversed? Well, one, one is not reversed because one, one, those are nibbles, those are two nibbles. And this only happens at the byte level. So to show you this, I'm going to say byte variable 2, define byte, and I'm going to just put 1, 2, H. Again, it's a hexadecimal value. And we're going to take a look at that variable so I can show you how it's not actually reversed at the nibble level. Let's start it. All right. So we'll go ahead and put ampersand byte variable 2. And there it is, 1, 2. It is at the byte level where they're reversed. It is not at the nibble level. One other thing, since we're here, one other thing I wanted to show you, and I have mentioned this in previous videos, but you can actually see all of your data by just looking at the very first one. I just typed in ampersand byte variable, and I can see my 11, but I can also see the 3322, which is actually the little endian display of 2233. Three, three. I can see the 77665544 and there's my 44567. I can see all the way to my byte variable 2 way down here. Again, that's because that's the order in which I allocated the memory and labeled it and it's contiguous. All of those variables are right next to each other. So that's little Indian order. Don't let it fool you. It's simple with a debugger. It's at the byte level. It's not at the nibble level. And it only, show, it only shows its effects when you look at your memory at using byte displays. If you look at anything larger, it's going to look different. It's, not, it's going to look like the way you allocated it. So, hope to see you at the next video.